So in this video I'll explain the important deduction and induction distinction, also explain some misconceptions about it, and then give you 20 arguments to help you practice identifying whether an argument is deductive or inductive. So if you look at the two arguments on the screen, can you identify the different ways the premises support the conclusion in each argument? Because this distinction between deduction and induction describes how the premises support the conclusion in each argument. In deductive arguments, the truth of the premises guarantee the conclusion. That is, it's impossible for the conclusion to be false if we assume the premises are true in a good deductive argument. In inductive arguments, the premises provide probabilistic support. So it's improbable but possible that the conclusion is false in good inductive arguments. So argument one is deductive because the conclusion must follow. It's impossible for the conclusion to be false if we assume the premises are true. It's impossible for the conclusion, Bob has a brain, to be false if the premises are assumed to be true. In argument two, though, it's improbable that the conclusion is false if we assume the premises are true. It's possible but unlikely that Sam doesn't have a brain in, in the inductive argument. So the following exercise will give you practice distinguishing deductive from inductive arguments. And keep in mind, uh, this exercise will also correct some misconceptions that are all over the internet. Um, for example, some of those misconceptions include the idea that deductive arguments always move from general to specific and inductive from specific to general, which is, which is false. Um, another misconception is that deductive arguments are based on facts and inductive arguments aren't, and that's incorrect as well. Um, deductive induction has nothing to do with whether the premises are true, but whether uh, with how the premises support the conclusion when they're assumed to be true. And then finally, uh, there's a misconception about science and how it's only about inductive thinking. And that's incorrect as well, as scientists use both types of thinking. So to clarify, what I'm going to do is just display these uh, arguments on the screens. And you might want to pause them and then listen to my answers as I go through. Try to answer them yourself first, right? And the goal is to identify them as inductive or deductive. OK, so number one is inductive and probably is a clue. You know, the word probably. Number two is deductive because if we assume the premises are true, the conclusion must follow. Number three is deductive. Again, it's impossible for the conclusion to be false if we assume the premises are true in this argument, so it's deductive. Number four is inductive because the arguer is claiming that the conclusion probably follows, not that it must follow. Number five is inductive, and uh, you know an argument that generalizes from a sample is inductive because the conclusion is supported in a probabilistic way. The conclusion could be false even if we assume the premise that it, you know that sample is true. Number six is deductive. If we assume the premises are true, the conclusion must follow. Now, of course, you might reject the premise as false, but deduction and induction have nothing to do with the truth or falsity of the premises or the conclusion. Deduction and induction is about how the premises support the conclusion. Number seven is inductive. Eight is deductive. Nine is deductive. Ten is inductive. Eleven is deductive. And for eleven, we aren't uh, generalizing. Rather, we're assuming a general law is true and then inferring a case from it. So some of science uses deduction. Number 12, um, the answer is inductive arguments add something new, whereas deductive arguments seem to have the conclusion contained within the premises. And this is another way that might help you get um, a better understanding of this distinction. Number 13 is deductive. And notice it moves from particular to general claims. So not all uh, deductive arguments move from general to specific. For number 14, see number 13 and 5. Those are counters. Number 15, the answers will vary, but both types of arguments could have all correct facts. Logic is about the quality of inferences, not the truth or falsity of the premises. Number 16, the distinction between deduction and induction helps us better understand any argument. You know, Later, you'll learn different tools for evaluating each type of argument. But for now, it's enough to know that categorizing the arguments as deductive or inductive is the first step in accurately evaluating them. Okay, number 17 requires some research. And number 18 is deductive, 19 is inductive, and 20 is deductive. So again, the value of this is that there's only two types of arguments in a broad sense. Um, there's only two ways that premises can support a conclusion. And the words deductive and inductive uh, give us a way to talk about these two ways and to thereby better analyze and evaluate any particular argument, as we'll see later in the course. Thanks.